Hey, welcome back. And now we're going to be looking at step two in this four-step process. We've, we've broken the ice. We've created an opener. We've, we've caused a, a conversation. And in your mind, because you are process-driven, you know that there is step, 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 done that's happening here. You're now going to move them into, you're preparing yourself for, the fact, fact, small bit of information. So let me tell you this right up front. When you practice this, really practice it and realize when you first start out, it's going to feel weird. Like, who talks like that, right? Everybody does, who is a good conversationalist. Because on the receiving end, if you're working with somebody, you should find it, get another teammate or one of your own brand new baby brand ambassadors here to work on this with you or work with your upline because here's what you're going to find out. I'm hopefully going to do a good job of, of uh, like role playing this out so that you can see it's going to feel like a natural conversation. The receiver of you doing fact, fact, small bit of information because of how it was all set up is going to feel like, wow, this person's actually talking with me. They're listened to me and they're conversing with me and you're building rapport. And the whole point of this thing is to get into rapport where they believe you, trust you, like you, and stay in rapport. So there's a couple of key things about fact, fact, small bit of information that you want to know so that you don't blow yourself out of rapport. And I'll kind of show you how that works. But here's a couple, and I'm going to do them just kind of like they're written on the page, right? Okay. Where's the camera? There we go. Page right down there. So here's a couple of key things. Number one, it's fact, fact, and then the small bit of information. The two facts don't have to be scientifically peer-reviewed. Uh, you could look it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica or go to WikiLeaks or Wiki anybody and find it as a fact. No, that's not what's important because there's facts out there that I don't believe, but they're so-called a fact. These need to be a fact that the person that you're conversing with at the moment feels it. They agree with it. Their brain says, this person's in tune with me. They know exactly what I'm thinking and feeling and what I'm going through. That will be a fact to them. All right, so on the page, number one fact area is something that they accept without question, and it can be, hopefully, something that got keyed off of what they said when you broke the ice with them. So, for example, maybe they're in, uh, they're in chronic pain. They've been in chronic pain for a long time. So, and you lay fact number one on them, which is just a statement. We know chronic pain is a real issue for people. Are they going to argue with that? No. They're in chronic pain if that came from the conversation that you just had. So they've just got done complaining. Yeah, this has been going on for years. It really sucks. I'm telling you. And then you just casually say, we know chronic pain is a real issue for people. Oh, no, wait. I'm not really in chronic pain. It's not an issue. No, they're not going to. Their brain is going, bingo. Oh, a person who's listening to me. You could say, people with this kind of pain really have to struggle to get by. Are they going to argue? So they just got done saying, yeah, this thing's been hurting for years. It's a, I mean, it's a problem. And you say, people with this kind of pain, or you could say people with your kind of pain, people with that kind of pain, make it apply. Remember, I can only script out on a page and written words just so many ways of saying it. And you're going to have to apply it and adapt it to your real life situation in the moment but by practicing these as they are your brain will become tuned in it will find the right words right there on the fly but there's a step-by-step -step process right so then we've got things like mood diabetes injury they just got done describing they've got diabetes you know a lot of people today struggle just to make it through the day with what you've got and if we can make it sound even like a little worse than what they said. They're going, yeah, somebody that understands me. And it's going to feel completely conversational to them. All right, so remember, it's fact, fact. 
they go back to back. All right, and you're not rushing it. Then uh, you can also, and you should, come up with a couple of generic issues that are just your go-to, depending on how much time you even had to talk to somebody. Maybe not enough for them to reveal a whole lot about themselves, right? So I I have a couple that just roll off my tongue, you know. And one of them is, you know, you see it every day, people dealing with serious health issues. Hello? No argument there. That Their brain is going to go, fact. That's truth. That's rapport building is what's happening. Um, a lot of people with chronic health problems are out there and they're not getting any better. Hello? They're going to immediately identify with that if that's them. And most of the time, that's them. You're building rapport. Now, there's also financial issues. Don't limit yourself just to health problems. You can be talking to somebody that's just talking about uh, getting laid off, didn't get a raise, tried for a second job, didn't get it. Wife is having to go to work, or wife's getting a second job, just took on kids to baby, whatever it is, right? The bills, uh, just got a notice from the IRS, whatever, right? Anything that leads into money, or you could just lead into it. You know, a lot of people today are talking about how expensive things are. They're no one's going to argue with that. Even people with money feel like things are just still too expensive. You're taking some of my hard-earned money. I know people keep saying they're getting further and further behind. Say it with feeling, mean it, practice it. It seems like more and more people are worried about bills and money these days. Who's going to argue with that? No one. And it feel it is, it not only feels very conversational, it is conversational. You're actually talking. Versus you opened up the conversation with an icebreaker and then you went blah, dump, 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 dump all the stuff about Canaway and all the stuff about CBD and all the stuff about you have these. They didn't ask for that. This makes them ask for that when you get done with fact, fact, and then the small bit of information. All right, so. We laid fact number one on them. Here comes fact number two, and it needs to come right behind it, okay? So let's just go with a lot of people are struggling to make it through just, just to make it through the day. And they have a real concern about turning it around, fact number two, okay? Fact number two is drawing a conclusion from fact number one, leading it somewhere, okay? A lot of people today are talking about how expensive things are now. And most of them would love to stop worrying about the bills. Is that going to be a fact in their head that they would love to stop worrying about the bills? A lot of people today are stuck with their pain and they're on heavy medications. Now that's not on the script. As you can see, you're going to make up some of your own. Or you're going to be developing a vocabulary of words that are used in fact back small bit of information all right and most of them are worried about the side effects and many of them would love to find a way to get off the drugs a lot of people have, a lot of them dream about not having to juggle two jobs and a family see fact and then fact it's one leads to the other just boom boom very conversational very fluid very flowing. What you have now is their complete attention because in what's called metaspeak, reading between the lines, they know this has to be going somewhere. And it's going somewhere. Your small bit of information. So let me tell you how not to do a small bit of information. You know, a lot of people today are struggling just to get through the day with the kind of pain you have. And most of them are really worried about the drugs, the side effects. That was fact, fact, right? But some people have found a way to get into medical grade CBD that's legal in all 50 states and has all kinds of side benefits and everything else because it comes from hemp and it's industrial hemp and it's been imported and it's got triple tested plus it's CO2 process. No, 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 no. Small bit of information. One or two things. That's it. Because there is a goal to this. What's the goal of 
FFSBI, Backpack Small Bit of Information, leading you into the one minute presentation because they're going to ask. They're going to ask. All right, so let's go through a few real small bits of information. Okay, small and reasonable, remember that. But some people have found a way to get the relief they want and off the drugs using medical grade CBD from hemp. Remember in the beginning of the of the ice breaking, we kept saying, what do you know about CBD? This is why, it's because we're coming back full circle. But some people have found a way to stop the pain naturally using medical grade CBD. You're gonna learn these, okay? But some people are changing their life using medical grade CBD. But some people have made a move into medical grade CBD that's federally legal in all 50 states. And they're earning an extra $500 a month in just 15 minutes a day. So you can, you can string together a few things as long as you don't get wild. Let me tell you, so let me go through that last one in a way that wouldn't work. But some people have made a move into medical grade CBD that's federally legal in all 50 states and they're earning an extra $22,357.60 a month in just 15 minutes a day. No, <laughs> you blew out the rapport, you blew out the belief factor. Keeping it small, all the rest is gonna come, but what is this designed to do? Make them ask, how does that work? Where are they finding that? Where would you buy that? How could I do that? They're going to ask. And that's the whole point of this, is to get them to ask. Got it? So practice, practice, practice. See you on the other side. The next one after this is going to be the one-minute presentation. It's kind of cool. See you there.